Sorry to keep you waiting. We had to make an unexpected trip to the store because there's a project due tomorrow and of course we didn't have supplies. So, uh, sorry, I'm usually really on time because that's important, but I appreciate you guys being here. Um, just gonna clean off the counters and wash my hands and then we'll get started and I'll introduce myself. Hello everyone, hello, hello. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so I like to always start with clean services. This is just some brandless granite and stone cleaner. Um, let me start by introducing myself. I just get right into it. Hope you all are having a good Sunday. I missed you all. Hey, princess. Um, I don't have my usual equipment, so if there's comments, I don't think I'll be able to see them without messing them up. I could try, but oof, I don't want to break it. Um, but I hope you all are doing well. Okay, let me wash my hands. All right, so hello and welcome. <laughs> I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. And in today's class, we're actually going to do a do over from this morning. Um, I didn't have my settings right in the video, and I feel like it wasn't that good of a quality. And since I'm doing the egg fast, I'm eating the same thing anyway. Thank you, thank you. So happy to be back uh, for anyone uh, that's been following. I actually did a little travel. Oh, you missed the videos? Oh, I missed you guys too. Thank you. That made my day. Um, I was actually on spring break at spring break where I live and I took my youngest son uh, who's upstairs getting ready for school to go back. Uh, we went to Costa Rica and uh, there was a big achievement for me in Costa Rica. I won't bore you all with that. Uh, if anybody wants to know or see, you know, I am happy to repeat it. Okay, there's some comments. Gosh, I don't know if this is going to. Let's see how I can see the comments. Hey, okay, CK is here. Okay, yay, you guys can see. Okay, um, hi, I'm here, hi. Um, okay, good. I haven't charged my iPad, so I have a very small screen I'm working with, so I hope you guys can see, even though I can't really see myself that well. Oh, crap, see, now I'm touching it. Y'all, oh, all right. Okay, so I'm just going to pretend that you guys can see I've moved my own view out of the way, but at least I have a view of the comments. All right, so what I'm going to do today, let me, sorry, y'all, it's just all over the place. So um, Maggie, the substitute teacher, I've been chronicling my weight loss journey. I have to say the scale was not looking too happy. I had too many rice and beans in uh, Costa Rica. And, you know, that's what I do when I'm on vacation. I eat what the locals eat. So um, today I'm doing my egg fast. So I'm just going to do, excuse me, <clears throat> my fried eggs. And I made a fried apple this morning that was actually really tasty. So I'm going to eat the same thing again. Hold on. Feel a sneeze coming. Excuse me. <sighs> Y'all, I was in the tropics. Okay, great. You can see. Thank you, CK. I was in the tropics and everything was fine. I'm back here with a little bit of a tan a little bit of a burn on the arms from the beach and uh just the, those allergies and stuff are back so my skin is adjusting my sinuses are adjusting but we are all healthy and well negative covid tests before and after so i'm ready to get back on it Aw, thank you princess all right so like i said the reason i was late sorry we had to stop by walmart for poster boards because there's a project for school lines were long so uh, i misjudged the time but what I'm drinking, uh, stop by Panera. You guys know me and my iced coffee. So this is uh, iced coffee with almond milk because uh, thank you, CK, because uh, I'm um, sensitive to dairy. Do we even say that? Y'all, I'm all out of sorts. So I've been chronicling my weight loss journey, health and wellness journey. So far, I kept off 75 pounds with at least 25 more to go. And for me, that was a hair sample and a cheek swab on the inside. So I've got a list of foods that I can eat and a list of foods that I can't. All right, you got your stuff? Alex, you can say hey hi. Guys. <laughs> We're getting ready to... Um, what are you going to do, Mom? Yeah, I'm going to do the same apple and eggs from this morning. 
my son is in military school and he goes to boarding school, so I don't really see him every day. So since this is spring break, we wanted to do something special. Um, is that all the stuff, or do you have a few more trips? Pop tarts. This is really cool. Yeah, get your pop tarts. And um, you got the case of water. Yep, I left it in the trunk. Okay. So. Iced coffee with, uh, thank you. Hey, Luke Hazley. So happy to see you. So y'all, I am back on it because, ooh -wee, those rice and beans. Iced coffee from Panera with um, almond milk and then my sweetener you guys have seen me use. Um, the Skinny Syrups Vanilla. You guys have seen me use this before. Zero calories, zero sugar. Uh, thank you, CK. Um, so if you like those coffee shop drinks, you can save money and save calories. These are all zero sugar, zero calorie, uh, lots of different flavors. This one is vanilla. So I just put a squeeze of that in there. I need to be drinking lots of water, so I'm drinking water too. Okay, so uh, we're going to do a couple things today. We're going to do the egg fast, and uh, I have gotten some groceries here, uh, a couple deliveries, so I'm going to put those things away, but also I wanted to just kind of chat about some ideas for some different uh, meals that I can make as I put the ingredients away. I kind of think about what I can do with it, so I said whenever I'm in the kitchen, I will come on and share with you all. Okay, so the egg fast, again, this is completely optional. My metabolic specialist recommended it to me. Uh, anyone who's been here before, uh, you know that I do that whenever the scale kind of stops moving. So I did the egg fast before I went to Costa Rica, and now that I'm back, <laughs> and according to the scale, like 11 pounds, that can't be right. It's got to be water weight because I ate, but ooh-wee. Um, I'm going to do the egg fast today. So I do it usually about once a week. I want to get right back on track and um, never consecutive days. So on the egg fast, I do uh, one day that's just eggs and apples. So I've got some apples here and so I'm just going to do a standard um, fried egg. And uh, I'm going to make a fried apple. I did it this morning, just kind of made it up. And the video quality wasn't that great. That's why I pulled it. But I'm going to do the same thing here. Hey, Cub Kitten. And um, we're going to put some groceries away. Um, what I did before I left, uh, those of you all who were here, I tried to go through all of my fresh produce and really, you know, cut back on the shopping and pare down, um, you know, the groceries that I had. But now that I'm back, I've got some new stuff and a couple um, substitution ideas that I want to make. So unfortunately, my stove is not clean. I usually do that before I get started. So I'm going to spray and wipe that down and then get started on my fried eggs. But, you know, while I'm doing that, it's really important. I clean before I cook and then again after I cook. You know, so I'll just share with you guys, you know, the way that I was raised, you never leave the kitchen in a mess. Unfortunately, we were rushing today. Um, but yeah, especially if you're in a shared space, just get in the habit of wiping up after yourself. You know, my former mother-in-law, God rest her soul, hey, seven. Ooh, you want to see the apples? Yeah, it was actually really yummy. We'll talk about that. Um, I'll get to cooking in just a second. Ooh, I have something I was going to put on. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't even know if it's forwards or backwards, but I did get, excuse me, I did get um, a little souvenir for myself. Um, sometimes I cook with the apron, sometimes I don't, but I thought while I was in Costa Rica, you know, what is something that I'll actually use? And so I did get, is it? Okay, I was gonna say, is it on? I still have this the label on it, the price tag. But uh, I think I'm going to do that because I love to travel. Hey, Katie. Um, oh, good, good to see you. One of our uh, Costa Rican friends. Um, I think when I travel, I'm going to start. <laughs> I'm going to start collecting aprons from the different uh, areas I've been to. You guys have seen my Paris apron, the chocolate one. Uh, so I picked this up in Costa Rica. So, um, yeah, I think it fits. All right. Let me clean my stove. Oh, Alex. 
I know I'm kind of OCD with the cleaning. This is just a little, um, my mom taught us to clean as you go. Absolutely. This is a, an all purpose. It's like a, what do you call it? When you put the concentrated and then you add your own water. I sell Sensi. So this is just a little all purpose cleaner. Um, yeah, you, you should. You clean as you go. My former mother in law said, what? Wipe now, scrub later. So if you make a mess, and you know you make a mess, this is what I'm always telling the kids, just clean it up when you see it. Don't let me come behind and find it. Hmm. What's that? What's what? The Lysol wipes? Yeah, I okay. just used the last one. All right. What are you wiping up? The Sharpie. Oh, did it come off? No. I just used it to just wipe my scrub later. Mm -hmm. Are you working on your poster board now? Yeah. Do you need to print out anything before you go? No. I go. Oh, I don't think so not right now. But I'm gonna get some information on the football field and see the dimensions so I can downsize it so I can Do you know how long the football field is? No, nope, that's what I'm looking at. Really? It's a really even number. <clears throat> Okay, sorry y'all. So when you clean the stove, this is just me being at home. When you clean the stove, hey Maya, um, take the burners off, you know, get in there. Again, like Luke Casley said, if you are uh, cleaning as you go, then it makes it just a lot easier. All right, so let me wash my hands and we're gonna get started. So when I do the egg and apple fast, again, this is just something that I'm doing completely optional um, because I enjoyed myself and I want to get back into weight loss. I still have at least 25 more pounds to go. But uh, for anybody who saw, I had a major goal uh, that I accomplished in uh, Costa Rica a once in a lifetime, because I will never do it again. I was able to zip line with my son and that was something that I kind of had tucked away for a long time. So I'm really happy about that. All right, so I've got my copper skillet here. I'm going to do my eggs in this and then I'm gonna do my apple in this. All right, so I'm gonna fry my eggs in butter. You can use oil if you want to. Um, I do like the taste. Uh, butter has a little bit more of a creamier taste for me. Uh, so again, I am sensitive to cow dairy. That came up in my test results. So you guys have seen me use, this is Delamere goat's butter. You can get it at Whole Foods or online. Looks like butter, cooks like butter, tastes like butter. So that's the substitute that I'm using. So again, this is going to be a really simple fried egg. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some butter into the pan. I'll show you. I know, kind of janky, but just enough so that you want to coat the pan. You don't want to have any dry spots. I'll do a little bit more. You don't want to have any dry spots. You don't want to have any hot spots. You want your food um, to be able to kind of glide on that butter. Um, I'm going to turn this on and let the pan... I see it. I just got it out of the dishwasher. I'm just going to wipe up a couple of wet spots because you don't want to mix the oil and water. But um, I like to fry like once the butter has melted and it starts like sizzling a little bit before it goes brown. All right. So let's get this on the stove. All right. So while that's going, I'm also going to do the fried apple. So I'm gonna get another little pat of butter. Probably could do them in the same, but yeah, I'm not. So I'm using a little small nonstick CK. <laughs> All right. So I have an apple here. These are just, I don't know what kind of apples you guys like. These say Pink Lady. I just ordered these, they came in from Sprouts. To me, they are um, a little on the tart side, but they cook down fine. One second, let me see what's going on here. Is that paint off of the carpet? Okay. Let me wash my apple. All 
All right, let's go check on our butter over here. So it's melting kind of nice and foamy and I just kind of move it around the pan. You can lift it up off of the stove. I just want to make sure that I have good coverage here. I probably could put a little bit more on it, but I'm just kind of letting it glide down so that all of the bottom of the pan <clears throat> is covered. And then I'm going to let my skillet get kind of like a medium high heat because when you crack an egg in it, if you have a stove that kind of tilts like mine, it'll run. But once it's nice and warm, I just put my hand over it, not on it, but over it. I want it to get sizzling so that once I crack my egg into it, it'll actually stay in place. All right. So uh, let's get another vegetable peeler. So on this uh, egg and apple fast, um, I had an apple as a snack while we were out and about. I can just eat it raw. You guys have seen me core apples and stuff them. We've done baked apples. That's really good. This is a really good, um, for me, snack, but it could also be a dessert. What I'm going to show you, you can do it with just an apple and a few spices and um you could top it with ice cream or whipped cream on the egg fast i don't have any dairy at all um so i'm gonna eat it plain but you guys will see it and i think you'll like it all right so let me go crack my eggs i had three this morning on the egg fast you can have about eight or nine eggs in a day um so let's see how many we get in the pan Okay, so I'm sure you guys heard the sizzle. Nana taught me to cook with all of your senses. And so you can do the first egg. And if you have that sizzle, do more. If it just kind of lays there, you can wait for your pan to get a little bit hotter and then continue. And then like I did this morning, you'll see me rotate my pan because my stove kind of tilts and I want to get good coverage. I don't want them to all clump up to be one egg. All right, so we've got four eggs in the pan. Since it was hot, they kind of stayed in shape. Not really, but we've got a nice white and I'm gonna crack the yolk. I'll show you that in a second. Washing my hands. <clears throat> I did it this morning, so the spatula that I'm using is in the dishwasher. So you could keep the yolks whole and do like a sunny side up. I like them a little bit flat. So I take the corner of the spatula and I just tap on the yolk. So this is what we have so far, if you guys can see. So literally I just go to each one and I just tap it so that it flattens out a little bit. You can see this one right here already flattened. When I cracked it, as soon as it hit the pan, it kind of um, flattened on its own. But you see now how they're a little bit um, flatter. <laughs> and I'm gonna do one in the middle. I think this will be my last meal for the day. Um, when I usually eat, I only eat about two meals a day on vacation. I had three meals a day plus snacks. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and crack that yolk and then I'll just season with salt and pepper. That's all I'm doing for the eggs and we'll get to this apple. Okay, and so to anybody new to cooking, one moment. This is 
to anyone new to cooking, when you season, you want to kind of season up high. I know it just kind of looks fancy on the cooking shows, but it also helps you disperse the seasoning on all of the food. I'll show you what I mean. So this is what we have here. So if I keep the salt shaker right here, I'm going to get salt just on this little corner. You could do that, but if you go up higher, you can see that you can easily get dispersion, if that's the word, I don't know, uh, all over the pan. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the black pepper. I think when I was listening to, was it before the billions or somebody who was talking about he made fish and there was just seasoning on like one little section. Uh, so try and come up a little bit. That uh, helps the seasoning to go everywhere, but then you end up having to clean the stove kind of like I did. All right. So I'm gonna let the eggs cook uncovered because I want that nice golden fry on the bottom excuse me, if I cover them, they'll kind of cook in like a little steam bubble and they'll poach, which is fine, but they'll be kind of opaque. They'll get that cloudy white over the top. I want the, the difference between the white of the egg and the yolk of the egg. So we're gonna let them cook. All right, so clean up as we go. Let's put our goat's butter away because we've got some in the pan here. And let's talk about this apple, which is gonna be a snack for me, but you can make it into a very nice dessert. Okay, so for this fried apple, all you need is the butter that you use. If you can have dairy, have regular butter, you know I'm using goat's butter. And then whatever warming spice you like. I'm going to use nutmeg and I'm going to use cinnamon. You could do one or the other. I have both. That's how I made it this morning. And I'm using sugar substitutes today. I'm going to be using, this is the Truvia brown sugar blend. It's half brown sugar and half stevia. You guys have also seen me talk about Swerve makes a brown sugar. This one, you'll see, it looks like brown sugar. It kind of crumbles like brown sugar. It tastes like brown sugar without that sugar that's gonna spike your blood sugar. <laughs> All right, I can't remember if I washed this. Yes, I think I did wash it. So we're gonna peel this apple. I peeled it this morning. Should I do it with the skin on or peel it? Skin on. I need all of that paint off of the carpet. Okay. All right, so I'm going to turn off the eggs and just leave them. You can see now I still have them a little bit soft on the top. They'll continue to cook. But I'm going to go into the corner. Let's see if I can show you guys a nice little golden brown on the edge. All right, so that for me is perfect. So we're going to set these back down and we'll let them plate. All right, so Alex says we're going to leave the skin on. Yes. Because I think it'll help hold it together. Hmm. Okay, we'll do it that way. This morning I did peel it. So let's just go ahead and chop. And we do know that all of the nutrients and everything are inside the skin. So I'm gonna do this pink lady apple. You don't have to have very fancy nice skills. <clears throat> Excuse me, I cut in half, then I cut that section in half, then I cut that section in half. So let me go ahead and put this butter on the stove to melt down. Since I'm not peeling, this won't take long. So we have <laughs> our apple. Oh, interesting. You ever seen it like that where it's got those little white specks on the inside? I don't know what that is. We're gonna cut it out though. I'm sure it serves some purpose. 
All right, so we have our apple, just halved. I'm using this little um, silicone cutting mat. So then you cut it in half, then you cut it in half again. And then I just go through the middle and take out, I know that looks crazy. Uh, thank you, McMillan. Um, we've got this little section here. So I'm not doing a proper dice. I'm not a chef, I'm just a home cooker. But I do want you to have your like apple slice, probably in thirds, so cut and then a cut. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Just kind of like a bite sized piece. So again, we're leaving the skin on. When I did it this morning, I had peeled it. Uh, so we're gonna see how these turn out. All right, so we're just gonna cut our apples into pieces. Let me check on the butter. All right, butter's melted down nice and foamy. You wanna try and get it before it browns because that's how you make toffee. <laughs> and I uh, learned that. Well, I knew that before, but we did that in Costa Rica. And in, in case anybody missed any of the updates, they are on Instagram and in my YouTube community tab and on Facebook. And I have more stuff, y'all. I had to fight a monkey for my food, and I mean that. <laughs> All right, so let's get the rest of this apple cut up. You can see what I'm doing just in half, then in half again, take out the core, and then bite-sized pieces. So rinse and repeat. Hope everybody's doing well. It's Palm Sunday if you celebrate. So looking forward to Holy Week for anyone who celebrates Easter, Passover, all of our brothers and sisters, everyone is welcome here. All right, so I'm just continuing to cut this apple down then we're gonna toss it in that skillet. It didn't take long at all when I did it this morning. This is a great snack if you like apple pie, if you have a kid that wants something sweet, but you don't wanna do like artificial sugar. And I did add some brown sugar sweetener this morning, but when you cook down fruit like this, uh oh, missed the trash can, I don't really think you need much at all. All right, so this is what I have. I started with a whole apple and just cut it into bite-sized pieces. So you heard that in the skillet. Now I'm going to dust it with some nutmeg and some cinnamon. Whatever warming spice you like, you could probably do clove, you could do anything. So I'm gonna season it liberally. So, so far we have our nutmeg. Don't wanna smoke you out, sorry. Now let's do some cinnamon. I'm gonna go back on the stove. So this is what we have. So I'm just going to toss a little bit. All right. And then again, you probably don't need any sweetener, but I'm going to put just a pinch. Uh, you guys are saying hi to each other. I'm so glad. I love the community we're building. So again, I'm using the Truvia. I'm not measuring y'all. You know, I just kind of eyeball. Let's say a half teaspoon. literally just a dusting this is a quarter teaspoon so i'll do a heaping but you guys can see here this is the brown sugar substitute that i have and it looks like those grains of sand hey parker dean so we're going to put this in with the apples and that's pretty much it i'm not even going to get a utensil yet i'm just going to move it around So you can see what we have so far, just a fresh apple, nutmeg, cinnamon, and brown sugar. You can have regular brown sugar, please do, but I am your substitute teacher. <laughs> so um, I use substitute ingredients because that's what's uh, helping me on my health and wellness journey. All right, take off my Costa Rica apron. Um, let's clean up a little bit and go through some groceries. You all know that I love my uh, delivery services. My mom is old school and she likes to go into the, sh into the shops and 
touch everything herself, but I got to be multiple places at once. So I'm a big fan of Instacart, um, shipped, Walmart, delivery. I think it's called Walmart Plus, Amazon Prime, all of it. So you guys saw the apples that we had today. The sprouts delivery. I don't think she was supposed to do this. Y'all, she left this, the whole cart. Thank you, Dottie. I'm so glad to be back. All right. So a few ideas we're going to do this week. Checking on the apples. You guys see they're starting to brown and caramelize. So again, just butter, sugar, if you can have it, sugar substitute for me, nutmeg and cinnamon, medium heat, and just keep them moving. But you can see they're starting to get kind of like ooey gooey. <laughs> Maggie, I am an engineer. <laughs> I know. What's that, um, Uncle Sue? I was so nervous. Not really, but you know, that was my first interview. And uh, I do work in technology. Uh, thankfully, I'm able to work from home. So uh, that's what allows me to come into the kitchen, you know, as much as I do. Um, so yeah, my best friend was like, when I started, when I thought about doing this channel, I was like, okay, I need to do something like cooking with Maggie, doesn't it? Thank you, uh, McMillan. Um, I thought about like cooking with Maggie or Maggie can cook or something like that. And, uh, you know, they were, he was like, you know, no, you need something. Cause you got that teacher vibe. He was like, you need something like Maggie, the substitute teacher. <laughs> oh, you've been in aerospace. Okay. Now I'm curious. What makes you, how did you know I was, I, I work in tech. I'm not really an engineer. I'm let's just say, okay, I'm an engineer. Let's not split hairs here. But I do have a, a chemistry degree, so I come from, you know, a STEM background. All right, so you guys see what's happening with the apple? So we're just going to let it continue to brown and soften. In my opinion, if I had peeled it, it would be going a lot faster. But, you know, that skin kind of holds that moisture in. But butter, brown sugar, cinnamon, and uh, nutmeg. All right, so let's go through the first batch of groceries. So if you guys saw yesterday, oh, thank you, McMillan. Um, that's my OCD. He says I'm organized. <laughs> um, if you could see, like, I still have to unpack. I have laundry to do. I have stuff to clean, you know, on the inside. I'm like, ah, but it's going to be fine. If you guys saw yesterday when we flew in from Costa Rica, we connected in Dallas and there was a um, California pizza kitchen right next to like our next gate. And so I went in and I did have their original. Uh, no, I don't write code. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm a senior BA. So anybody who's in tech, I gather in sidebar, coming back to the cooking. Um, I work with business people and tech people. I write requirements, user acceptance, testing. I do, I don't write code, but I do like, you know, um, training and, and documentation, technical manuals, that kind of stuff. All right. Back to the snacks. If you like apple pie, you can do this on the stove. You can do it in the air fryer too, or the toaster oven. Just melt your butter, cinnamon, and um, yes, I'm coming. I'm coming to that. Um, and you can just put it in the pan and do this in the uh, air fryer oven or whatever. Okay, so yes, California Pizza Kitchen is where uh, we went yesterday connecting flights, and I got their original pizza. If you guys go back and look on my, excuse me, community tab on YouTube and on my Instagram, I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher on all platforms. I'm always posting what I'm eating because you guys help keep me accountable. It was a pizza crust, and instead of red sauce, they used barbecue sauce. It did have real cheese. You know, I'm supposed to stay away from dairy, so I'm going to do it with goat's cheese. I did the cauliflower crust instead of regular crust because I'm sensitive to gluten. Um, and then it had shredded chicken, so I bought. Oh, it's still warm. I had Costco deliver a rotisserie chicken, so I'm going to shred some chicken breast. And we'll do chicken, toss it in some sugar-free barbecue sauce that I have. And then it was topped with sliced red onion and um, 
cilantro, cilantro. So I got some fresh cilantro, y'all. It kind of sounds like a weird combination, but now I know why it's their original. It was so amazing. So we've got cilantro. I'm gonna put this on the pizza. You can also puree this with like the oil of your choice and some salt and make it like a nice cilantro sauce. Um, you guys saw me do the fish tacos. Cilantro is great in your own pico. Um, any Latin flavors, I love it. People either love or hate it, I love it. So since we're talking about CPK, I know, doesn't it sound good? Let's do that tomorrow. So I ordered these from um, Costco. Let me check that apple. I just like to keep stuff moving. You need anything? No. You got everything out of your room? Yep. Okay. I think we're good with the apples. I'm going to go ahead and just leave them. Um, they'll continue to cook, but they're actually getting a little bit darker. I'm fine with it, but we're going to put those in a container and plate. Okay. So I was going to get a pizza crust, <laughs> but I've gotten, let me see. I don't know if you guys have had these. So this brand is Outer Isle. So this is a cauliflower. It says um, sandwich thin. They do make a pizza crust, which is the whole thing. But I was going to make like little mini pizzas. So you can see here, they are, um, I could butter these and put cheese inside, make a grilled cheese. But I'm going to do like a mini CPK pizza. So tomorrow, this will be our crust. Sugar-free barbecue sauce shredded rotisserie chicken, uh, tossed in barbecue sauce with sliced red onion and cilantro. Oh, I'm getting excited. Y'all know how I get when I, woo. So that's going to be yummy. All right. Let's see what else is here. Cause I'm hungry. What else did I order? Sometimes I'm like, what is all this stuff? Ah, you guys already know I had to refill this. Anybody who's been around a while, you know my Maggie cakes. Um, we are going to do, and I also got this. It's a little soft. I need to put it in the fridge. Okay. So I have a sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free pancake recipe. I know lead attorney makes fun of me, but it's excellent. So the recipe calls for eggs and cream cheese, but because I can't have cream cheese, I use goat's cheese. So I bought the plain... Oh, I need to put these in the fridge. They're supposed to be nice and plump, but this is my cream cheese substitute. <laughs> Let's see what y'all are saying. Oh, what's that? Okay, we'll talk about what everything is. So goat's cheese is uh, basically a soft, creamy cheese made from goat's milk. So uh, because I can't have cow dairy, I can have goat dairy. So this is the substitute that I use for ricotta. This is the substitute that I use for cream cheese. This is excellent. This one right here, if you can read, it's probably backwards, y'all, my settings, my setup. This one says blueberry lemon. So this is goat's cheese, but it's rolled in blueberries and it has probably some lemon in. So this makes like a purple pancake, really excellent. Beverages and condiments. You guys are gonna hear me talk about that. This brand, Walden Farms, this is pancake syrup, but it's blueberry pancake syrup, sugar-free, gluten-free, calorie-free, everything free. I drizzled that on my pancakes. It's excellent. Heavy whipping cream, this silk, this is a plant-based. I saw a recipe that I want to try for um, like an orange freeze or like an orange um, with a sugar-free soda. And then you put this in kind of like how you make an iced coffee, but with soda. Um, so I'm going to give that a try, but you can put this in Make your own whipped cream. What else did we use this heavy whipping cream for? I felt like, I feel like there was something else that I can't remember. This is gonna go on our CPK pizza. This is my shredded goat's cheese, the pepper jack. This is a block that I shred myself. My absolute favorite because it's a, it gives you a very good melting experience and it's mild. Oh. This manchego cheese, this is my Parmesan substitute. This one is made from sheep's milk. I know it sounds weird and it is, but this one you can see it's like a quarter of the cheese block. So it's a very um, dry 
aged salty cheese. This is my Parmesan substitute. So I'm looking forward to having this. What am I going to do with it? Ooh, Paige sent me a recipe. You love goat's milk. Yummy. Um, I don't really do goat's milk, but uh, goat's cheese I will do. Uh, Paige sent me a recipe for zucchini fries that has like shredded Parmesan on, on top. So we're going to do zucchini fries, but with shredded uh, manchego on top. And you kind of toss them and put in the air fryer so they get all <sighs> amazing. Okay. I just have some oil. This is not for me to consume. This is actually for my body. It's a whole whatever. But that's that. I know. I know. I put oil on after a shower. Hey, call me crazy. Um, red onion. This is going to be for our California pizza kitchen. Zucchini. This is going to be for our zucchini fries. Oh, man. I forget they have the small one. Butternut squash. This makes a very good sweet potato fry. I forget that it's cut up so small like this. You see how it's small and diced? But if you get it in bigger chunks and do the same thing that we did with this apple, melted butter, cinnamon sugar, and air fry it, you get like a very nice caramelly uh, sweet potato fry, but it's squash instead of sweet potatoes. All right, we're gonna try this apple. Oh, Alex, you can come try it with the skin on. And then we're gonna plate. It's still a little firm for me. Get a fork, please. Ooh, you got paint all over you. Yep. Blow because it's hot. So I'll let you guys see what we have here. You can see our apple. It's taste. Mmm. 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 I still would do the skin off, and I'll tell you why. It's very good, and I'm going to plate. Is that everything? Yeah. All right. That's everything. Oh, what did you think about it? Um. I think it's better, but at the same time, it's because I don't like mushy food. Okay. Like, I don't really like yogurt and stuff like that. Okay. Understood. All right. So you would do it with the skin on then, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you. You're welcome. Babe. All right. So I'm going to tell you guys, <laughs> we both have valid points and I'll tell you why. So I'm getting my eggs out to plate. I'll show you guys what I'm doing i'm just going around the side with the spatula it's going to come out as one big sheet see our nice fried egg there all right let's see if we can get it to i'm right handed all right should have done the other hand Whew. don't want it to fall off okay my fried eggs. I know, right? I only do this once a week. And let's get the apples. All right, so I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on the apple and why we are both right. So I'm just putting this in a little, and I dropped one. All right. I'm eating it anyway. So this is what I'm having for my second and last meal. You know, Uncle Stu said that I don't hold stuff up here long enough. Hey, Josh. All right, so we've got our apples here. Now imagine this topped with ice cream or this topped with whipped cream. Excellent. So again, the apple that I use is this Pink Lady. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Pink Lady apples. And like I said, they're a little tart. And so for me, the tartness is in the skin. So if you like tart, leave the skin on. If you prefer sweet, I would peel it. It's still very tasty. Uh, Alex says he doesn't like mushy food. Because the skin is still on, it, it keeps its shape and it is more firm. Just getting another fork so you guys can see. Because the skin is still on, it keeps its shape. When I did it this morning and I had peeled it off, the apple 
pulp or the flesh itself does get softer faster. Mm, 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 mm. But the taste is very good. All right, let's taste our eggs. So again, I'm doing my weekly egg fast. I usually eat regular food. So if you're new here, this is not all that I eat. You love mushy. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, you guys, this would be a great, um, like crustless, crustless apple pie, you know? Um, I would definitely give it a try. All right. So we've got our fried egg here. I'm being greedy. We've got our nice, and the brown on the bottom comes from, you know, the butter. You could also do oil, but I do like the butter taste. Mm, 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 mm. It did cool a bit because I was working on the apple. I should have been doing both at the same time. Actually, I probably should have done the apple first. I think that would keep it some temperature better. But my, my yolks are soft, but not runny. You can cook your eggs um, longer to get a firmer yolk. All right, a couple other groceries and I'm gonna let you guys go. I did get some peppers. You guys have seen me make the um, breakfast stuffed peppers where we cut off the top, egg, cheese, and um, veggies inside. Put this under the broiler, excellent. You can also do it for a dinner. Turkey sausage, um, onion, put whatever you want in there. We'll do stuffed peppers this week. I also have, um, Someone that I went on the uh, trip with wants me to do a um, arroz con pollo, which is rice and chicken or rice with chicken. So I don't eat rice. And so I got this cauliflower rice. And this is like a six pack of like microwave, you know, steam bag rice. So I can use that for stir fry. I can use that anywhere you would use rice. So again, you know, my substitutions are about substituting the foods that I used to love for the foods that love me back. Okay, so hi, I'm here has a question. Mm, mm -hmm. All right, so the cooking demo is over, but I'm going to eat and answer you guys questions, any questions that you have. So the story behind the egg fast, it's really to kind of kickstart your metabolism. So what I shared with you guys, you know, on this weight loss journey so far, down 75 pounds with at least 25 more to go, I got in the habit of weighing myself every day. This is completely optional. Some people say I'm never doing that. But a nutritionist that I used to see said that, you know, if you have any like phobia with the number on the scale, you can kind of take the shock out of it by just weighing every day, like after you brush your teeth, just kind of part of your routine. So you know the number on the scale, because some of us used to only weigh when we went to the doctor once a year, and then you're shocked. Excuse me. So I started doing that. So when I started my health and wellness journey with the metabolic specialist, I was weighing myself every day and tracking it. And I thought that the number on the scale would just go down you know, like a mountain slope. It doesn't. For me, I hold, then I drop a couple pounds, and then I hold, and then I drop a couple pounds. And for me, that can be very frustrating when I'm really trying to do right and eat on plan. We all know when we're not, like I just came off a of vacation, I had everything. But when you're really trying to stay on track and the scale isn't moving, I would get frustrated. So my metabolic specialist suggested this egg fast for one day. All you do is eat eggs and apples or eggs and strawberries if you can't have apples, just to give you the protein, some natural sugar, some fiber, and it kind of kickstarts your metabolism. So I weigh the day, well, I weigh every day, but every time I do the egg fast, which for me is about once a week um, when the boys are gone, that way I don't have to cook. And um, 
it does. It just kind of helps me get back into weight loss mode. So because I'm just coming off of spring break and whew, the scale this morning, but I know it's water weight because, you know, my clothes still fit, but it's not going in the losing direction. I put on weight on um, vacation, so I want to get back on track. So that's why I'm doing the egg fast. So hopefully that answers your question. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys being here. You know, anybody who's new here, all are welcome. I just really love hearing that this is helpful because, you know, my mom taught me how to cook. She cooked for the family. That's just how I was raised. I didn't really have a choice. And so, you know, like I said, I thought everybody knew this stuff. And then when I started talking to people and I realized people don't, this whole channel started with me when I was on my, you know, journey posting like the finished product, right? This is what I'm eating today. Presentation is not that great anymore, but this would be my post. And I'm usually pretty good at presentation. And so people would see my post and they would say, did you make that? And I would say, yeah, I made that. And so then I started posting the before. So all these ingredients and then the finished product kind of a side by side before and after. And then people would say, how did you make that? So then I would go back and I would comment or I would explain like what I did. And it went from, you know, the end picture to the before and after picture and then me commenting. And then I, my earliest videos, cause this is just month three for Maggie, the substitute teacher. So I'm still very new. So I really appreciate you all being here. I was just narrating my still pictures. Then I did this and then I did that. And then I just got to, when somebody asked, are they gonna do cooking demonstrations? And clearly this is just me in my kitchen with my phone or my iPad. I'm working on getting some above stove equipment and all of that. But I said, you know what, whenever I'm in the kitchen, I'll just bring you guys in with me and you can kind of see what I'm doing, ask questions. And uh, cause this is how I'm gonna have to eat, you know, for the rest of my life. Um, I used to be pre-diabetic used to have elevated blood pressure and borderline cholesterol, or maybe the other way around. All of that is normal now without any medication. And I went on a very active spring break trip where we hiked and zip lined and did all this stuff that I do not do. And I felt amazing with no pain pills and no joint pain. So you really can turn a lot of that around with what you eat. So thank you all for being here. Like I said, I'm gonna clean up and go through the fridge and wipe down and put my groceries away. I will be back tomorrow. We'll make, um, I don't know, blueberry pancakes or stuffed peppers. And then we'll do the uh, California Pizza Kitchen um, tomorrow afternoon. So first meal, let's do our blueberry pancakes. And then second meal, our uh, barbecue chicken pizza. I think that'll be really good. You're so welcome. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. This one I will share. I'm glad that the technology worked out. So thank you for being here. So goodbye, Instagram. Uh, thank you so much. And goodbye, Twitter, you.